Hey everybody, welcome to another live video. And as usual, we're going to start out by giving everyone a few minutes just to get onto the video and to start watching because there are lots of people from around the world who are just getting the notification that this live video is happening. And for those of you who are watching the recording of this video, you can watch videos like this live on Facebook. All right, so just go to Facebook. You should find all of the links to the Facebook page and to other uh, pages where you can find videos like this in the description to this video. All right, so welcome back to another video. And as a few more people join our video today, um, we're going to be talking about some usual issues or problems that people have when they're studying English and when they are teaching English. So this video is not only for students and it's not only for teachers, it's for both. But I'm going to be speaking at what I call an intermediate level. And that means that I'm going to try to make it so that the majority of people who are watching uh, can understand. Because some people watch this video and they are students who are learning the language. So I need to speak in a simple way for those people. And other people have a high level of English already. And for those people, I need to include some challenging aspects of the language. So I will try to do both. All right. So everyone who's watching this video, I'm sure you can uh, find something useful here. And it looks like we have about 250 people watching now. So that's great. So the first thing that I want you to do is if you're watching and you can understand what I'm saying, if you understand me, write a message in the comments right now. Just write, I understand. And then I will know that everyone understands me, you can hear me, you can see me, and that'll be great and we can continue. Um, so yeah, so something that we're going to do today, first of all, uh, you can ask questions and I will answer your questions. So when you type your questions in the comments, in the chat of this video, I will read them, I see them, you know, I'm always looking for them. I see lots of people writing, I understand, I understand, I, great. See, I'm reading the comments. So you can ask your questions there and I will try to give you an answer. The second thing that we're going to do today is sometimes during the video, I'm going to tell you to do something because a good teacher makes students and makes the audience take action and do things. And that's what we're going to do today. All right. So there's really two things that we're doing. We're asking questions and I'm answering and we are taking action. We're doing things and doing that to practice the language. All right, so the first thing is, I see everybody's listening, everyone's doing the first, this, this first thing that I ask. Great, thank you. So um, the next thing you need to do is, if you like learning English and you like these live videos, then you should add me to your friends on Facebook. You can find my link in the description to this video. So if you click the video, you can find my link and you can find the link to all of my pages there, all right? I teach English a lot. Every day I teach English. I just finished a lesson with one of my students. And I have YouTube channels for teachers. I have YouTube channels for students, uh, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook groups, VK, uh, Telegram. I have a Telegram channel with about 750 people. And so I'm always, always, always making new lessons and videos for people who are learning and teaching English. So if you like that, add me to your friends on Facebook. And you know what? I'm going to send you the link right now. So you can have the link and you can find me. Great. So that's the first thing. 
Uh, next. Well, let's do this. Now you can ask me some questions and I'm going to start answering. Um, but first of all, I also want to tell you that if you want to study with me, then you should send me a message because right now you can study with me for just $2 a month. All right. If you like that, send me a message that says $2. And I'll send you the link. So yeah, if you want to study with me for $2 a month, send me a message that says $2 and we'll do it. Okay, I'm going to answer some of your questions now. I see there's a lot of questions in the comments. And if I don't uh, answer all of the questions that you write, just understand that a lot of people write questions. I see Hamid says, glad to see you here again, sir. Wish you have a colorful and blessed evening. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. That's so positive. Um, let's see. Fabiano writes, I understand you, and I loved when you taught about future with going to and will. Well done. Well, Fabiano, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you get to join us in our English lessons um, every month because right now we have a special deal, just $2 a month. Send me a message that says $2, and you can join us and you can study two dollars a month it's not one lesson it's not two lessons it's lots of lessons quizzes worksheets it's a lot so uh yeah send me a message on my page that says two dollars and i'll tell you how to join all right guys let's see where are the questions so i want your questions about um what's difficult about studying english or teaching english or what's difficult to understand I see Vitaly wrote a question at the beginning. My main problem is that I'm lazy. Wow. Okay, so yeah, sometimes the biggest um, question or the biggest problem is motivation, right? It's hard to be motivated. So how, what, what can we do to get motivated to study English and to learn English and to you know, learn it better than, than how we know now. How can we motivate ourselves? This is a big, big, big question. So let's answer that. Well, the biggest thing that we need to do, uh, sorry, one second, let's see, someone wrote, tenses are, are difficult. What do you suggest to improve memorizing new words? Oh, that's a good question. Okay, so we have memorizing words, we have tenses and we have motivation. I'm going to I'm going to write those down real quick, all right? So we have motivation, we have tenses and we have memorization. All right, great. So we're going to talk about those questions. Um so if you want to study with me for just $2 a month, I'm sending the link right now in the chat. And yeah, so then you can join us. Great. Um, okay, guys, so let's talk about that. Motivation. The biggest thing that we need to do when we want to motivate ourselves is we need to associate learning English with other activities. Now, usually you want to do this with activities that you like, you enjoy, um, but sometimes it's difficult to do that, right? I always suggest that parents. Uh, make a rule for their kids if they want to motivate their kids to learn English. Make a rule for their kids. You can only play video games if they're in English. Or you can only play computer games if they're in English. Um, and this way, the kids do something fun and learn English. And they start to think that English is fun. Right, that's the name of the of the group you're watching the video in, probably. Um, English is fun, and that's so important for motivation. Now, for adults, how can you motivate yourself like that, right? Because it's hard to associate fun things with learning English. Well, you can still do this; it still works. And the best way to do this is to associate learning English with an activity that you do every day or you do many times in the week. So uh, for some people, it might be listening to English audio tapes in the car when you're driving. So
So when you drive to work, make a rule in your head. Every time I drive, I listen to English. Or maybe it's washing dishes at home. Make a rule in your head. Every time I wash dishes, I listen to an English lesson, or I watch a YouTube video in English, or I watch an English TV show. Okay, you have to make a rule in your head that every time you do some kind of action, you do English. That's the only way you're going to do it. That's the only way it's going to work. Um, another thing you can do is change your Facebook page to English right now. Just change your Facebook page to English. So every time you go there, you see some things you don't understand, and you think, uh, I don't want to make a mistake on my Facebook page. So I need to learn what that means so I can use my Facebook page, right? Find some groups on Facebook or maybe a blog or a forum and write your opinions there, meet people. A lot of times in the beginning, people are not going to understand you. And if people don't understand you, that's okay. If you make, if you make mistakes, that's okay. That's part of learning. And don't let that demotivate you, okay? When I make a mistake, I get more motivated. I don't say, oh, I made a mistake. I say, yeah, I made a mistake. Because when I make a mistake, that means that now I can grow. If I don't make any mistakes, I'm not growing because I'm not learning anything new. Making mistakes is very important. All right, guys? So make more mistakes, and that will help you learn. Let's see. Joanna writes, when I listen to your videos, I have the biggest motivation to learn more and more day by day. I do it. Joanna, thank you so much for sharing that with me. It's, you motivate me. I get motivated by my students. Um, so I love you guys, and I'm really happy that you're out there watching these videos and that you're, you know, in my, in my course, English Club, that I sent the link to you guys to. Um, I sent the link in the chat, so you can just click that link and you can go there. That's where I help people learn English, and I really want to motivate people to learn English. And it really makes me so happy that there are hundreds and hundreds and thousands of students all over the world who want to learn English and understand that it's important. That's motivation for me. Okay. So that was a little bit about motivation, and I hope that that helped you guys. Um, and I see there's a lot of comments, a lot of comments. Let's see, William says, hi, I live in Honduras. Let me tell you that your videos are wonderful and all your advice is very helpful too. Video games are really good to learn new words. If you aren't a native speaker, greetings. Thanks for all these videos. You're so welcome, William. Thank you so much for that comment. And when you guys write comments and when you send me messages, a lot of people write messages to my Facebook page, and I want you to do that. Send me a message if you want to study English and you like what's happening. And yeah, you can click the video and you can see all the links to all my pages. Um, and thank you for sending me those messages and sending me comments because that lets me know that people need this and people want this. So when you tell me that, I know I should do it more. I should do it again. So thank you so much. Uh, great. All right, guys. So let's see. The next question that we had was about tenses. All right. So for any teachers who are watching right now, um, I want you to understand something that when students ask about verb tenses, we should not teach all of the verb tenses at once. Okay, if you're a good teacher of English as a second language or English as a foreign language, don't teach all verb tenses at once, at one time. It doesn't help people, all right? It's not, it's not good. It's just confusing. Um, let's see. I see some more comments. Uh, Angela says, nice to hear you and see you. Continue teaching. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm from Argentina. I'm studying to be, be an English teacher. Your videos are very helpful. Okay, great. I love Argentina. I've been to Buenos Aires, and I love that city. Let's see, another comment. 
Hello, I'm from Spain. My sons learn English listening to songs in the car. That's excellent. That's a great way to do it. All right, guys. So it looks like we have about 375 people watching the video right now. And we want to make sure that everybody learns about English, right? And everybody gets this useful information. So if you're watching, please share this video right now. Share it to your page. Share it to your group. Just share the video. All right. And now let me remind teachers, you shouldn't teach all verb tenses at once. It's not a good idea. Um, but for students who ask, because students always ask, here's what I'm going to tell you. All right. So how do you learn verb tenses? First, you need to learn categories of verb tenses. You need to learn what the names of the tenses mean. Because probably if you're studying from a book or if you're studying with a teacher, the first thing that they do is they tell you the names of these tenses. And you think, oh, what does present simple mean? And what does present continuous mean? Or present progressive? Or Right? What do those words mean? So first, let's understand what that means. Because they can tell us a lot about what we need to do with them. Uh, so present simple. Present simple tells us that it's a regular activity, something that we do every day. We always do it. We never do it. We sometimes do it. And that's present simple. It's like a cycle, all right? Every day I eat. Every day I work. Every day I teach English. All right, let's see some, some more questions here. Hi, I'm from Mexico. Actually, I'm studying English, and I think it's important to practice every day. I agree. Thank you so much for that comment. I totally agree. Do it every day. That's the way to learn. Let's see. Abo writes, I'm from Yemen. How can I improve my writing skills? Uh, well, you need to practice writing, and the, the internet gives us a great opportunity for that. So um, I would say that you need to find what I call a pen pal or a pen friend. Find someone to practice writing with. You can find lots of native speakers online who want to learn Arabic, for example, and you can do language exchange. Um, let's see. Yomer says, this is the first time I'm listening to you and you're speaking very understandably. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, remember, I'm speaking very clearly because I want everyone to be able to understand. Um, great. Great. Uh, let's see. Carlos writes, I want to practice my speaking skills. Yeah, I know lots of websites where you can practice your speaking skills. Um, in fact, here, I'm just going to send this link again, uh, you can study with me for $2 a month, just $2 a month. Now, this is a limited offer. It's a special thing that I'm doing right now. I sent the link in the chat. So there's a link in the comments. Just click the link and you can join. For $2 a month, you can study with me, but this price will change in April. So only a few more days, you can join. Uh, because the price will go up. So $2 right now. The link is in the chat. Um, if you have any questions, send me a message. So guys, um, we were talking about tenses. Simple, present simple, it's a cycle. Pre uh, past simple, it's something that's finished in the past. And future simple, something that will happen at one point in the future. Now, when we talk about continuous or progressive, this is a process, something that doesn't have a result. It's not finished. And we just focus, we just concentrate on the process. And we need to use these tenses when we want to talk about something that we don't know what's going to happen in the end. All right. So, uh, great. So what we can do is we can think, is this something that happens usually or is this a process? 
That's the first question. So we talked about simple, we talked about continuous, and then we also need to talk about pre uh, perfect tenses, right? They also have something special. So um, like I said to all the teachers out there, it's not a good idea to teach all of the tenses at once because it's too much information, it's too confusing. All right, let's see, I have some more questions in the comments. Ilyana sa or Elaine says, it's $2 now, how much will it be two mo uh, next month? All right, so it's $2 now. If you join right now, it's $2 forever. If you join right now, it's $2 every month. All right. Uh, I see Claire wrote that she's joined the $2 program. Yeah, Claire's in our program, and she said it's very helpful. Thank you, Claire. Um, great. So... Anybody who wants to know about that? Yeah, $2 every month. And that means next month it's not going to be more expensive. Next month, if you, if you join next month, it's more expensive. If you join now, $2 forever. All right. Anybody who um, has any other questions, you can write me those questions. We had another question about memorizing words. So, there are some different strategies for memorizing words, and I want to make sure that I answer a lot of questions that you write here. Um, so yeah, anybody who wants to uh, learn about memorizing words, write me a comment right now in the chat because I see that uh, some people have left, probably because I was talking about two dollars, two dollars, too much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see, Lydia writes, you're so good, do you know any web sites to improve my writing skills? I need a teacher to correct me and correct all my writings, thanks a million. Lydia, send me a message to my personal page, the link is in the description to this video. If you click the video, you will see all of my links. Send me a message and I will help you out. Uh, let's see, Kim Hoon writes, I'm from Thailand, how can we learn English for work? Uh huh. I need my English is translate Thai to English. Okay, guys, if you have questions about studying, uh, writing skills, speaking skills, translation skills, anything like that, send me a message, a personal message. Okay, just uh, click on the video and you'll see all of my links, and you can send me a message. Um. Okay, I see that some people are saying, "Can you send me just the link to join?" without any other text. Sure, okay, uh, here you go. Here's the link. All right, so that should work for you. All right, if you have any other questions, you can always send me uh, a message on Facebook. You can just send me a message and I will answer you and tell you more information about it. So yeah, that, that link is to study English with me for, uh, for $2 every month. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about memorization. All right, I see there's another question here. Hay Hayat writes, how can I improve my accent and pronunciation? Well, I have a special pronunciation course, special speaking and pronunciation course called English Hacks, and it's on my website. So there's a link to my website. If you click the video, you can go there and you can find that course, or you can send me a message on Facebook, all right? So uh, if you haven't done it already, you should add me to your friends on Facebook, and if you have questions about studying, send me a message. Let's see, Anho. Suarez writes, do you teach English on Skype? Yes, I do, I do. And you asked, uh, what's your pronunciation accent? Where are you from? I am from the United States. I speak American English. And um, I know about British English and Australian English and different types of English and uh, those types of pronunciation, but um, I don't do those accents myself. I'm American, so I speak with an American accent. Let's see, Denise writes, we can't add you, Chris. Okay, if you can't add me, just click follow. 
Okay, just click follow and uh, you'll be able to see all of the things that I post on my wall. And I, I post a lot of useful information about studying English and teaching English. And I think that you will really like that. All right, so let's see, we have another question here. Uh, I can't click on the link, the link doesn't open for me. Well. Let's see, Monse just wrote, I've joined the club for $2. Thank you so much for your videos and your kindness, English with Chris and Mary Coast. Thanks for joining, great. All right, it looks like, it looks like yeah, there's actually a lot of people joining right now. And uh, that's great, that's great. So yeah, if you wanna join, all of the links are right there in the comments, in the description to the video. Um, let's see, Nazi writes, how can I start or get the course via Skype? So if you want to study on Skype, you can do two things. You can go to my website. It's chrisamericos.com. The link is in the description to the video. Or you can send me a personal message here on Facebook, all right? So just go to my page. It's facebook.com slash chrisamericos, and you can send me a message. All right, I want to join, I want to um, answer more of these more of these uh, questions. Let's see. Let's see. Cinder, I'm from Mongolia. How can I join? Okay, to join, you will need to have either a credit card or a debit card. And you can also pay with PayPal. So you can join with a card or with PayPal. All right, just click the link. You'll see it in the comments. Miguel writes, who is the kid behind you? Miguel, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see. Anjo Suarez writes, what's your education? What's your background? Um, well, my background in education is I have a bachelor's degree in psychology. I have a master's degree in international relations. I have a certificate to teach English as a foreign language. So, um, so yeah, that's my general education. And I have started multiple language teaching businesses. I have an offline language teaching business. I have online businesses, and I help other teachers start teaching businesses too. So if you're a teacher, Send me a message and I will tell you how to start your business. Let's see, Irada writes, what about different time between countries if you teach? Good question, Irada. Um, so I do some live videos and some recorded videos. And all of my live videos I also record and we have quizzes and worksheets online. So everything that I do, you can watch when it's good for you. All right, whenever you have time, you can log in and you can watch videos and you can complete exercises and you can do everything. Fiorella writes, do you have specific times for classes in the course or can I practice it when I have free time? You can practice when you have free time, all right? It's, uh, it's whenever it's good for you, just click on it. And if you want to read more, you can go to my website or you can send me a message and I'll tell you more. All right, guys, let's see, Milena also, if I, if I subscribe, what's the methodology that I receive? Well, right now we use the communicative method, which means that we try to make people talk and speak because usually speaking is the most difficult, um, skill, the most difficult part of English for students to learn. But also, I want to tell you a little bit about something else. And any of the teachers who are watching right now, you will really like this because honestly, the communicative approach and communicative method is kind of old. And most people don't use it correctly in the classroom. It's a great theory, but in practice, most teachers don't use it properly. So 
if you're a teacher right now, you are really going to love what I'm going to tell you, okay? And I'm writing a book about this. I'm, I have a lot of information about this. I've been studying this for a long time. So not only do we need to communicate and teach people communicative skills, but we also need to help model relationships for our students, all right? When a student starts learning English with a teacher, what they really need to learn is how to relate, how to have relationships with English speaking people and other people from other countries who will use English to build this relationship. So one of the things that we need to do is we need to develop relationships and we need to help our students develop relationships. That's one thing that we need to do. Another important thing that most teachers don't understand, and if you're a teacher right now, it's okay because nobody teaches this. This is new, this is new information. What we need to do is we need to help students understand something new about themselves, all right? Something new about themselves. We need to un help them understand that they are an English speaker. And before we had a question about motivation, right? Students and motivation, how to motivate yourself to learn English more. Well, the answer to learning a, a language or any other skill is motivation and understanding who you are. If you believe that you are an English speaker, then you will speak English, all right? It's all up here, it's, it's psychological. And a good teacher helps students believe in themselves, believe that they are English speakers. Because if they don't believe that, then they will always think, I don't know English, I need to translate. I, I can't speak this language. I can't speak with English speakers, right? If someone believes that I am an English speaker, I speak English, when they believe that, then things start to change in their mind and in their actions and in their words and how they speak. So, great, okay, let's see, we have another question here. Chris, how to learn phrasal verbs effectively? So, great question. Um, well, I have 366 videos about phrasal verbs on my YouTube channel, all right? So you can go to my YouTube channel and watch those and I'll teach you a new phrasal verb every day, all right? I also have videos about idioms. I have, I have over 500 videos on my YouTube channel. Go watch them. There's lots of free English lessons and free uh, short videos about English, so I think you'll really like that. All right, let's see. How, let's see another question. How is going to work your class? I mean, what's the way you're going to teach? So there are uh, recorded videos about opinions and about important questions, and then you get to respond and you get to uh, write back and speak back to me and practice using this information. Then we have a live video every month also, and we have a worksheet, and we have a quiz. So there's really a lot of stuff. Let's see, Milena writes, what happens if the methodology, if I don't like the methodology? I can go out of the program or I have to pay for a long time? Good question, Milena. Um, so, What's going to happen is when you click the link, you can join for the first month, and then if you don't like it, you don't have to continue, all right? And for people who decide to join for more than one month, you can stop any time that you want. It's your decision. So it's just $2 to try it for the first month, and if you like it, you can continue for $2. Uh, that's if you join now. All right, so if you want to study with me for $2, just send me a message that says $2. Um, so you can, you can join, you can stop any time that you want, and I understand, you know, you're not going to be there forever. <laughs> it's okay. 
I don't want you to be there forever. In fact, uh, let's see, we have another question here. Do you accept any other currency like euros? You can pay with any currency, all right? It doesn't matter. Just use a card or PayPal, that's fine. Um, so what I want to say to you is, to all the students who are watching, I don't want to be your first English teacher. I don't want to be your next English teacher. I want to be your last English teacher. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Anyone who's a teacher who is watching, you need to have the same mentality, the same approach. Because I want to be your last English teacher. I want to teach you skills. I want to teach you um, strategies. So you never have to pay a teacher again. Too many schools and too many teachers out there want you to pay them forever. They want you to study today and then forget and then study tomorrow and then forget. I don't want that. I want you to study with me for a short period of time and then never have to study with a teacher again because I want to teach you how to learn English yourself. I want to teach you the skills that you need that you can use forever. Let's see, Daniela writes, even if I'm from Ukraine, will you accept some grivnas? <coughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, I have lots of students from Ukraine and Russia, so I accept rubles. And from Thailand, I accept bot. And from Japan, I accept yen. And from China, um, I accept yuan. So I accept everything, all right? Uh, so guys, yeah, I want to be your last English teacher. I want to teach you so that you know English, all right? Let's see, we have more people uh, writing questions. Good marketing, <laughs> thanks. So guys, great, the, the links are all there. Uh, if you like what you see, you like what you hear, share this video, like this video. If you want to study with me for just $2 a month, just $2, and that's forever $2 a month, not just the first month, every month, send me a message or click the link. Um, so guys, I'm going to finish this video right now. And uh, remember, if you have any other questions, you can always write me a message. Um, I'm not sure when I will do the next video here in this group. But if you add me to your friends on Facebook or, or you follow me or subscribe, uh, then that's great. You'll be able to see everything I'm doing. Let's see, Eunice is writing, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, Eunice, good question. <laughs> what do you think? Which came first, the chicken or the egg? What do you think, Eunice? I'm waiting for your answer. Well, let's think about this. Can there be a chicken without an egg? No, every chicken comes from an egg. And what, where does the egg come from? The egg comes from the chicken. If it doesn't come from a chicken, then where did it come from? A different animal, right? So this question is a question that shows you something great about the world. The chicken and the egg. It shows you that the chicken and the egg are the same thing. Because when you say egg, you mean chicken egg, right? What came first, the egg, the chicken egg, or the chicken? The animal from the egg. So they're both the same thing. So everything is how it should be. The egg and the chicken, they both exist at the same time. So we don't need to answer these kinds of questions, right? These questions are made to, uh, for people to think in circles. All right, guys, so that's the end of our video today. And 
<laughs> we ended it with a little joke there at the end about the chicken and the egg. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right, guys. So if you have any other questions, just go to my page, send me a message, and I will be happy to answer. Um, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of the week. Take care, and I hope that you have fun learning English and find lots of motivation to study English every day. All right, see you next time.